everyone and welcome to this little tutorial for February. Today I thought I'd share with you how I go about watercoloring die cuts that um, I cut on my silhouette. I have a little bit of a different technique for doing it and I've really never seen anyone do it quite the way I do so it's pretty simple and easy but I thought I'd share it with you. This is an example of a layout I used where I watercolored some die cuts, the flowers at the bottom. And then here's another layout where I also watercolored and you can see the smile has a little bit of an ombre technique and I'm going to show you how I go about doing that too as well as the cameras in this particular layout. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I always begin by cutting a full sheet of 12 by 12 American Crafts cardstock on my silhouette and I fill that cardstock with die cuts. Anything that I think I may use in the future anything I know I want to use for upcoming projects. The particular die cuts I'm using today are all from the Cut Shop, and I'll put a link to their store below. It's a really fabulous Etsy store for um, really nice cut files. So I go ahead and I cut my die cuts onto the White American Crafts cardstock, and then I begin um, collecting together my supplies. One thing I will say throughout this particular tutorial, I leave my die cuts on my silhouette cut mat, mats. I leave them on through the entire water coloring process and then I leave them on afterwards until they are fully and completely dry. So what you need is your basic watercolor supplies and some paper towels. So a cup of water. Um, I'm going to start the first set of die cuts I'm going to watercolor with. I'm going to use a set of close to my heart watercolor paints and um, a variety of brushes. I also really recommend Viva paper towels. They have this lovely kind of um, paper, they have like a cloth texture to them and they are really, really fabulous for soaking up excess water when you watercolor. So what I do is I cover my die cuts with water, with the watercolor paint, and then I use the paper towel to kind of smush it down and get up that excess water. You can see me here doing that ombre technique. So I pick three colors on my watercolor palette and I just start at the bottom and I use a little bit more water so that they really can kind of mix and ombre and it works really well. I'm going to do it here with that green two-tone um, die cut as well. And that's pretty much it. I think the key to um, what I do when I do this kind of, of water coloring is that I am always blotting, as you can see, always blotting my die cuts and keeping them on the mat. I find that keeping the die cuts on the mat until they are completely colored and dry really keeps them from getting warped and it keeps them looking really nice when you're all finished. For the flowered die cuts at the bottom, I'm going to use a different type of water coloring technique. And this one is perfect if you don't have a set of watercolors or you want to just um, kind of experiment or try. So I know a lot of people use the packaging technique. I know a lot of people, I have seen a lot of people um, use it. So what you need for this is just a collection of Distress inks from Tim Holtz. I used fossilized amber, cracked pistachio, lucky clover, and abandoned coral. You need a piece of um, packaging from a sheet of stickers or a sheet of alphabets, just some acetate packaging, and a paintbrush and water. For my water, I use a um, mini mister but you could definitely just um, pick up water in a cup if that's what you have available to you. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your Distress ink and you're going to smear some ink on your packaging. Doesn't can be a lot, it can be a little, kind of depends on the size of maybe um, the amount of area that you want to watercolor. And then add two or three squirts of your water, just a little bit, maybe a couple brushfuls. And as you can see here, you just smush it on. And um, before I put this on fast forward, I'm going to do a little bit because for these particular die cuts that I'm watercoloring now, I want to use multiple colors. And when you do that, you want to be very careful. Make sure you're really getting um, the parts of the die cut in each color that you really would like to do. And that takes a little bit of time, but it, the results at the end are so beautiful that it is definitely worth the effort. 
So what I do is I start by doing all of one color. So I'm going to do all of the abandoned coral that I want to do on this particular die cut. And then I'm going to move on to the fossilized amber and I'm going to do all the pieces in the fossilized amber that I want to do. And in between each of my colors I'm cleaning that acetate sheet off so I can reuse it and I'm also blotting with paper towels. For the leaves I start at the bottom with the Lucky Clover and then um, I plan to do the top with the cracked pistachio, but you'll notice here it's a little sped up, but in between the um, Lucky Clover and cracked pistachio, when I do the cracked pistachio, I'm also going to see Meal Selby dip into the Lucky Clover ink pad as well because I wanted to get a little bit more of that. And you can do that. Go ahead and, and grab that um, darker color to help you with those ombres too. So now our die cuts are done and I'm going to show you a couple easy ways to um, dress them up a little bit, bit and make them a little prettier. So when you pull them off of the uh, silhouette mat, be very careful. If you've let them dry for a couple of hours, they should come off without a problem. But I would definitely be careful because they need to be thoroughly dry all the way through. And then you can do things like here. This one I'm going to ink with some uh, vintage photo distress ink. You can ink them with any color you like. If you watercolored in, say, abandoned coral and you want to go ahead and give um, the edges some of that abandoned coral color with an ink blending tool that would be really pretty too. Um, so there's one of the die cuts. Another technique you can use is you can grab a white pen and you can use that to highlight a die cut or to highlight a piece of a die cut. I'm going to take my little puppy dog here and I'm going to give him a couple of freckles on his little nose. And anything you think that you, um, you know, maybe want to highlight or on a die cut or dress them up, I don't have any trouble using paints or um, using pens on my die cuts after if I, I've watercolored them. Another thing here that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just my Muji pen and I'm going to... Um, draw a couple of sketchy lines around some of the cut lines on the flower and that gives the flower like a really whimsical kind of sketchy cute look and you can also um, sometimes when you do these die cuts the edges will have a little bit of white on them depending on how you watercolored and you can always um, just grab inks or pens or anything you'd like and and if you don't like those watercolor uh, lines you can use uh, the inks and pens to define in this case like the different flowers or the leaves in your die cut and there you have it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today please like or comment let me know what you thought of it and here's a little layout with our puppy dog have a wonderful day bye